Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna fall asleep, I don't wanna pass away I've been thinking of our future cause I'll never see those days I don't know why this has happened but I probably deserve it Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a nice, clean-looking banner. In the future, I am going to do logos and all that. Now, this is completely different to my normal type of videos, but I've been recently been making banners for other people, and um, these are a couple that I've made. So we've got a banner, logo, logo. It's really easy. All you really need is a PC, okay? If you don't have a PC, then uh, come message me. This is my Twitter right here. Come message me. I'll make you a free one. But I'm only making one banner. So I know some people want a banner for their Twitter, for their YouTube, and for their Twitch. I only make one per person. Okay? One, like, free one. So one free banner, one free logo. But I'm not making multiple ones. So, so how you get it started, okay? We're just going to call this test, and we're going to make the name as test, okay? So you want the width as 25 by 60. And you want the height as a 1440. Now you can put on transparent. I normally put on transparent, but I don't really think it does anything. So now the first thing you want to do, okay, is you want to go to layer, and go to open an image layer. Now you do need to download this banner template. I'll put a link in the description down below to where you can download it. So uh, yeah, so this is going to be really simple. Uh, you want to put test. And then, or whatever we want. And if you want to download a custom font, all you want to do is go to the font. So let's just go search up the fonts real quick. And then you choose any font you want. Now, the one I use is another danger. This is a really nice one. All you do is press download. You wait for the download to finish. You click on the on the thing. Then you click on the another danger and you press install. It have worked with every single one of the fonts but that's how it works. So now normally for the size I'll go 130. Now if you're using the font that I am using always do a space between each letters because it does sometimes not, not do the whole thing. So now I always do white for the text and then if you want the styles you can change the styles if you want I normally keep it as regular. So now what you want to do is then try and get it about in the middle, so about there. Right click on the test, drop shadow. You want to have 100 opacity, five distance, and a five for size, and that'll be nice. Now you can also have an outer glow if you really want to. I normally have it black, and then it just it it makes it look more better if that makes any sense. So now what you need to do then is make a new layer. Click on this drawing tool right here and make sure it's on this rectangle tool. Try and get the corner right here and then just do that. You want to do it on the other side as well. And then the reason why we do this is because this bit here where you're blacking out is just for the TV. This bit in the middle is like your mobile devices, your iPad and your desktop. Okay, so you don't really need this top bit because that's also for people that watch TV. And personally, I don't really watch you people on TV, YouTube on TV anyway. So. It don't really matter about that. That's what everyone does, and it's just it makes it better. So now, what you want to do next is you want to use social medias. So you want them in this box here. You don't want them in this box because people on mobile devices what what people more watch YouTube on mobile devices. So you want everything to be in this box here. It don't really matter about these boxes right here. Mainly just these boxes you need. So you want if you have four um, social medias. So for example, Discord, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, or uh, mixer or for example or whatever I normally if I have four I'll put one in each corner if I have three I'll do one at the top or at the bottom now if I have two I'll just go one two or one and two I'll normally do it at the top if it looks more cleaner in my opinion so you want to download a PNG of the social media that you're gonna do okay so we're gonna do discord and we're gonna do discord and YouTube okay so you want to shrink it down a bit because you want it to be a decent size. You can zoom in as well by going like this. What I recommend doing. So make sure it's just we get to the edge bit right here. So you don't want it too big and you don't want it too small. So we're gonna are gonna make that a little bit more smaller. There we go. That that should be about fine. Now at the moment it doesn't look as nice. It's just purple. So what we do is right click on it, go to layer styles. You want to do inner glow first, okay, and then you do drop shadow. 
So you just want the size to be the maximum. You're going to change the color to white. Then the drop shadow to basically the same as what you did as a text, five, five. Okay, could have an hourglow if you really want to, if you want to make it look a lot more cleaner. But that's completely up to you personally. I don't have an hourglow, but that is completely up to you. Okay, so now that the text, you do the text, whatever it is. So my Discord is KLVYT, so I'll do KLVYT. I always do a different font from the actual normal text. Okay, so let's just find another font. Uh, this one, I like this font. It will go white, and then I'll take what then I'll then do is I'll take the one off. Okay. And then I'll make it like 35 or something like that. It's personally what I do. Okay. So now it doesn't really matter about the test the test bit, but I'll I'll show you some of them that I have made and some of them. And then you want to do the same as well with these ones. Is you want to do the drop shadow. Uh, five. That's not five. All right, so five and five. Same with the outer glow. You want it black. I know we just keep it the same. You can lower it. I do normally lower it sometimes, just depending on how the writing looks on other people's thing. So now you want to do the other one. So I'm going to do YouTube, like I said. But it is completely up to you. It's really easy to find a PNG, like really easy. So we'll do YouTube. So normally, th this one I've got is fine. So what I'll try and do, okay, is I, I always put an image and I'll try and get the right in to go to the edge and then I'll move the image. So you want to do the do this thing again in the glow. You want it white, harness, size, drop shadow, this five, and then this five. There we go. So now then what you do is then you do the text. So we're just gonna put KLV7. KLV seven. KLV seven. You can just copy. The if your social media is all the same, you can just duplicate the layer. I'll show you how you duplicate the layer in a minute. So how you duplicate is you just right click on it. So for example, this one, and you just press duplicate layer. layer. Easy as that. So now we want to move this to the right to the edge here. Okay, and then we can move this image right to the edge here. Do you want to go to layer style? Layer styles, pardon me. We do want to go to layer styles and sort all of this out. So. Five, five. Okay. Now at the moment it's looking really clean. Okay, that's without the background. So now you want to get the background in. So you want to go back to layer, open the middle of the layer, and then what you want to do is choose your background choice. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one because I really like the look of this one. What you can do is go to edit, free transform. You want to make sure you press the shift key so all of it expands because if you don't, then only it's just basically. I'll show you how how it happens. So if I don't do it, okay, now shrink it. It'll just, if I, this is not pressing shift, okay. So you want to press shift while doing it. So now I just try and fill the screen. Now I'm going to try and get the most of the mainly the water in. So now once you've done that, wait, I need to transform again. Make sure you zoom out because sometimes you do mess up that bit, like I ha like I have. So let's just get that. There we go. So now you just want to drag this down below everything, mainly under this bit, okay, and under this bit here. So there we go. So now I can free transform this again real quick because I didn't fill up everything. There we go. And then you want like wherever you want the image. So I'm going to have it here because it looks nice. We've got the water shining on it. So now I do see here that I had the boxes are a little bit dodgy so what I was going to do is get this because mainly just this top bit that is uh, not right and this bit right here and then at this bottom bit but that's fine so now you once you got this bit you can change the color of what you choose so you click on the image you go to adjust hue and saturation now you can press colorize if you want to, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but you won't get that light effect. So on this picture, you got this white light in effect right here. But when you do colorize, that's just going back to blue. So if I just change the color to my liking. So let's just try and find a nice color. Let's get like a nice purple. Uh, that would do. It's more like pink, but it's fine. 
So now, now what you want to do then is go back to Im layer, Im open images layer. You'll have a circle fade PNG. Really easy to find. You can just find it on the internet. Then you want to put this right to the edge right here. Free transform it. Make it a little bit bigger so it just covers up a lot of it. So you got that bit. And then you want to duplicate the layer and put it on the other side. Now you've seen here there's a line here and you're like, what the hell is that? Easy, just go to open images layer, rotate 180, and boom. Easy, easy as that. So now once you've got that, you can do anything that you want with it. So you can, if you want to really change the, you can go to filter, go to corrosion blur, you can turn it down a bit if you want to. Completely up to you. 15 is where I like it. And then uh, you can do any other stuff we want to it. Normally this is how I'll keep the look of the banner. Then you just want to go to file, save. Uh, make sure the quality is 100% because you want it to look amazing. And then make sure you have a place where you saved. So here this will be mine saved. Then you just save it and there you go. So that's how you can make a banner really easy in probably about 10 minutes it really doesn't take long to do and it makes it look really nice in my opinion like this is really good it is a really good that you could do um if you want i'm going to make logos in my next video on how to make a logo logos are really simple to do as well and they're really clean so uh, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and uh yeah peace out guys